Hey, I'm Lucas Foote with uh, RI3D Redux, and today we're going to look at a vacuum pump pickup method for the game pieces for the 2023 season. Uh, this is a method that is both lightweight and also innovative. Uh, it can go on the end of multiple applications, and it also could probably go onto a chassis bot if you just want to drive into game pieces. This vacuum pump uh, is a 6 watt, 8 uh, liter per minute, 100 uh, 20 kilopascal pump from Amazon, and we're using suction pumps from Automation Direct attached to a variety of uh, standard pneumatic fittings from Andymark. And uh, we don't know if three suction cups is necessarily the right amount, but uh, one was too few and three works. So feel free to play around with that. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world-leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash FIRST to register your team. If we hold it up to the cone, uh, you can see that as long as we attach it vertically, it has quite a good grip on it and you can really wiggle the cone around quite a bit uh, and it does not detach. So it's uh, a good hold. Um, and also if you wanted to include some pliability in your arm and you go at it from above, it can pick the cone up from a point away from you or point towards you method pretty easily. And this would also allow you to place it on uh, the posts. Um, <laughs> yeah, you'd probably want to turn the vacuum off instead of chucking it. Uh, it also will work for cubes. Something to note is that since the cubes are so light and floaty on the carpet, it might require something of a backstop for the vacuum to actually hold. As you can see, it's just pushing it around, but if you put your hand behind it, for example, and give it a little uh, bit of force, it will hold it just as well as the cone. Uh, and again, if you wanted to attack it from above, the floor provides the backstop that you need. And assuming that you had uh, some kind of mechanism to get it from there up onto one of the shelves or just into the bottom um, combo uh, grids uh, nodes, then this would work pretty well as a way to manipulate the game pieces. We have uh, over and under deflated cubes too, just as an example. So uh, the you know the the tighter the surface is, the easier that a vacuum will be able to hold or a suction cup. So that is one limitation of this. Hopefully, there won't be too many under deflated cubes like this one on the field, but. Uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely limitations to the design as well as advantages. So this is another test. We're going to try uh, attaching the suction cups to the flat flange of the cone. So as you can see, the, the moment might be a bit too much for the suction to overcome with this configuration. But if you had more suction cups, uh, I imagine it could work. But yeah, the, the tilting moment of the cone is... Um, tearing one edge of the suction cups away, and then obviously they can't maintain suction. Oh, I, I guess that works. Mm -hmm. Never mind, this is implementable. <laughs> so one consideration that we did have for this is as you can see, this is powered from a single vacuum pump on a single line. And that means that if one suction cup doesn't engage, the whole vacuum will be lost. So you can't just drive up and do this, for example. But if you had a separate vacuum pump for each suction cup, uh, then you would be able to use any of the three and you wouldn't need to use the curvature method that I did describe, or you could grab it with two if that is advantageous. So just something to consider if uh, the extra pump infrastructure is something that your team can handle. This isn't necessarily the strategy that we're going to go forward with on either of our two robots, but if you're going to look into this, then you might want to consider getting your vacuum infrastructure, uh, figuring out a way uh, you don't have to do this vertically like we did. You could do a plus shape so it would work vertically or horizontally. You could have some kind of curvature of the, the fittings 
Uh, if you wanted to disconnect them and use tubing instead of hard fittings to connect them, you could make a custom mount and use that to fit the curvature of the cone better. Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely uh, room to improve on this design. And I think that it would be uh, a good low cost and uh, easy to implement solution for manipulating these game pieces. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other RI3D Redux videos on Fun's YouTube channel. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks is free for first teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SolidWorks to design great products. SolidWorks can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SolidWorks.com slash first to register your team. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.striker.com to discover your next opportunity. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in 3 Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.